Hey guys, if you like my videos, click on subscribe and give me a like. And don't forget the bell so you can get notified of new ones. Hey everybody, how's it going? Dale here. Today I'm going to show you how to clone your existing or your old hard drive and your laptop or desktop to a brand new solid state drive. In today's example, I'm going to clone my existing one terabyte hard drive onto a brand new Western Digital Blue um, two and a half inch solid state drive. I do a lot of videos on my channel about installing new solid state drives and cloning them at the shop, but I have cloning duplicators and all kinds of equipment there and dedicated computer for just doing that. I can do them very quick. But if you're at home doing this for yourself for the first time, it's not too difficult. Um, you're gonna first need to get Gonna have to buy an adapter or borrow one from somebody, but you can buy these online very inexpensive These two and a half inch drive adapters <clears throat> They'll work great um, You have a USB 3.0 a type then you got the C type USB you can purchase I'll have links down below where you can buy these online. They're not very expensive. These run about 10 12 15 bucks and You can also get one like this that will do both a two and a half inch and three and a half inch drive for the Two and a half inch drive like this you won't need the power cord and it just plugs in the usb 3.0 but if you if you're cloning a three and a half inch drive or want to hook it up to a three and a half inch drive you're going to need the power adapter these run about 20 25 bucks online but for today's example <clears throat> i'm going to be doing the two and a half inch clone now if if you're going to be cloning onto a nvme drive or an m2 sata drive you're going to need an adapter like this these are usb 3.0 and again you can buy these online i'll have links down below where you can get these uh this is an mbme western digital um solid state drive this goes into this type of adapter it's called the m key or the m for an mbme ssd it just plugs in like that and it goes right into your existing usb port on your laptop or your desktop and this is the same thing but it's for an m2 excuse me, an M2 um, solid, state, solid state SATA drive. So we'll put those aside. Today we're gonna just do a simple clone onto a new solid state drive, get rid of the mechanical drive, add some speed to it. And I'm gonna get into the software part of this in just a minute here. Um, but first we're gonna hook this right up to our USB ports. Brand new drive, it hasn't been initialized or formatted or anything. So it's not gonna show up on my computer. Don't worry about that. So let's get into the software part of it. All right, guys, we got our solid state drive attached to our USB port. So now we're ready for cloning. First thing I would tell you to do is to do a little quick maintenance on your, your computer with your old hard drive in it just to make sure everything goes smoothly during the cloning process, regardless of which software package you decide to use um i would recommend going down here and open up your command prompt as administrator so if you get your search box just go to type in cmd and right click run as administrator and at the command prompt here you're going to just want to run a CHK DSK space port F. That's a check disk with the switch F for fix. It'll run the three phase check disk. Doesn't take too long. If you type that in, just hit enter. Or you can also go open up this PC or my computer. If you want to try it this way or do both, it don't matter. You can right click on your C drive <clears throat> and go down to properties. and go over to tools and click right here it says check it'll check, check for system errors then click on scan drive and it can take a little bit to do either one of those check check disk or the scan drive so get those out of the way it'll just check for system file errors and, and things like that so once you've done that you can also go down here in your system tray and you can right click on any apps that you have running down here for example right click and hit close or right click and click on exit um, the less things going on while the cloning process is going on the better chance your clone is going to be successful the first time 
for the sake of this video, I'm going to use the what we call the unrestricted version of a Cronus True Image. It's by far the most popular cloning software out there. Most of the major drive manufacturers use it, a proprietary version of it, including Western Digital, which is what I have here for this um, SSD upgrade is a one terabyte Western Digital Blue SSD, two and a half inch drive. So crucial Seagate, a data Western Digital Kingston I'll use a uh, their own version of the Acronis you have to have one of their branded drives attached to your computer however with Western Digital when you hook up the SSD using the adapter the USB SATA adapter I showed you earlier when you, when you hook it up to the computer and you download their free Acronis for cloning the the installation won't proceed it'll tell you that you have a restricted version because it won't detect your drive now, if your old hard drive inside your laptop or desktop is already a Western Digital, that free one will work just fine. And I recommend using that one if you can. Um, there's a workaround, a couple of workarounds. Number one, you can contact Western Digital, and they will, through their support, and they will send you a link to download a special EXE file. They execute three, four, five times. It'll, it'll cause it to recognize that drive with the USB adapter. I've used several different types of USB adapters to do that, to try to do that, and for the life of me, I can't get it to work. Um, even though I got a Western Digital drive, it's just not seeing it through USB port. Um, also, if you happen to have a Western Digital external hard drive, like a Passport, one of their hard drives laying around, just plug it into one of your extra USB ports, then you can install the free Acronis. So I spent the 39 bucks, and I got the Acronis True Image, the unrestricted version, which you can use on any brand drive, Crucial, Samsung, it don't matter. Um, Samsung and Corsair have their own proprietary software that's not a Cronus and it works great. I've used it before. So if you got one of those brand drives like Samsung has the, the migration wizard or whatever you call it, that works pretty darn good. Same with Corsair. Um, so again, for the sake of this video, I'm going to use the, the, the paid version of a Cronus. Now there is other software you can download. Uh, for example, this one here, um, Aomi Backup. It's called Backupper Standard. It's completely free. However, it clones the drive, your old drive, onto the new SSD through the USB. Works fine, but it takes a really long time, um, and it does it right within Windows. So you got a lot of files in use when your OS is running, and it's just going to make the cloning processor take longer and possibly even fail if there's any issues with background programs or, or system files that are in use and that type of thing. Another one I've used here is this EaseUs Disk Copy 3.5. That's the newest version. Uh, used to be free, but now for 20 bucks you can buy it, and that one works pretty good too. I've used that one. The Mini Partition or the Mini Tool Partition Wizard. It's called. That used to be free. The older version of it, uh, older versions of it were free, but now you can download and install it for free. But you can't actually clone until you pay for it. It's like 20, 25 bucks. Then there's another one here called Macrium Reflect. Lots of people have used that. I personally never used it. I checked it out. The interface is a little confusing if you're a beginner and you're only doing this once for the first time. If you're willing to, you know, spend the money on a new solid state drive, if you pay 39 bucks, you can get the unlimited version of the Acronis True Image. I just find it by by far to be the most reliable one. And nine times out of ten, it once it begins the cloning process, it'll boot, it'll restart your computer automatically, and then boot into a pre-Windows environment and do the cloning process without Windows even loading or running, and it goes much quicker and a lot less chance of anything going wrong. So run your check disk or, your, or scan your drive for errors before you do this. <coughs> um, I'm going to show you. I'm going to go into, I'm going to go down to my start button. I'm going to right click on my start button. I'm going to go into disk management here. And you can see disk zero is the hard drive that's in my laptop here. It's a one terabyte, and here's the unallocated Western Digital Drive hooked up through the USB. So that's in there. The computer's definitely seeing it. So I'm going to go ahead and launch Acronis.
Now, if you're doing this on a desktop computer, for example, um, and you're cloning your, your old 3.5-inch drive on into a new M2 drive or a 2.5-inch or SATA drive, uh, you can, and you're, you happen to be using a Western Digital SSD like I'm doing in this case, you can um, just grab an extra SATA cable and a power connector, you know, shut off your computer, hook up that new SSD right to a, an empty um, SATA port on your motherboard, boot into Windows, and you should be good to go because it's not doing it through the USB, it's doing it through the actual onboard SATA port on your motherboard. But on laptops, doing it through the USB, it's a little different. So I just I chose the Western Digital for this video for this example because I just wanted to be able to explain the differences in the software and, and, and different ways to do it. You can use whatever software you want, but again for 39 bucks you can get this Acronis. You download the free one first from Western Digital. And I put all those links down below so you can get the adapters and the different software. And once you download and get the free one, then it'll be a link you can click on right in the installer where you can upgrade for 39 bucks the full unrestricted version they call it. So I'm going to click here uh, under tools. I'm going to click on clone disk. Then it's going to take a few minutes for Cronus to read all the partitions, gather all the necessary information to start the clone. Um, clone a hard drive onto a new solid state drive or even another hard drive of any kind Doing it within the Windows environment just takes a lot longer because you got again you got a lot of files we're going to use and more things can go wrong so to speak. So we're going to use this Acronis here and hopefully have a successful clone. And just always be careful through the whole process that you're choosing the right drives to be cloned onto the you know new drive so you don't want to delete all your data. It's always a good idea to back up your data before you start a process like this. Now, by default, when this opens up in Acronis, it's automatic, which is recommended, and, and it's just fine. If you click on Next, you should be fine, but I always choose the manual option, so I can click Next. This way, I can actually see which one is the source, which one is the target. So in this case, our source is going to be this person right here through the serial ATA port, and the... You can see Toshiba, that's the kind of hard drive. So we're going to, oops, use the source. It says right here, select the source hard disk. I'm going to hit next. And it's going to do its thing again. done a lot of videos on installing new solid state drives but I've never actually showed you the cloning process again when I'm at my shop doing this I have duplicators and special special computer dedicated to this I can clone out hard drives in about anywhere from 10 to 20 minutes okay so we're going to choose our target disk which is going to be right here you can see the USB interface so we know that's our external SSD through the USB port I'm going to choose next And in a minute here, it's going to show us what it's going to look like before and after. <clears throat> Got to be patient with this cloning. There's no really super quick way to do this. Just want to make sure you do it right the first time. You may not ever do this again, but it, 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 again, if you're spending money on a new solid state drive, you can go proportional, you can go as is, the data on your old hard disk will be copied to the new drive in its current state, size partitions will not be changed. So I'm going to choose as is because I got the exact same size hard drives, one terabyte, but if you were downgrading to a smaller size, so you had a one terabyte drive and you're only using 80, 90 gigabytes and you're cloning onto the new 250 gig, then you could do the proportional. So I'm going to do as is, I'm going to hit next. So the nice thing with Acronis is it allows you to clone down to a smaller size as long as you don't your, your data doesn't exceed you know, your data on your old hard drive doesn't exceed the size of the new drive, obviously. Don't forget to click on subscribe guys and give me a like.
So now you can see um, what it's going to look like before and after. It's going to look just the same. So we're going to click on proceed. That one software program, EaseUs program, is only about 20 bucks to buy. That does a pretty good job. I've used it a few times. During the preparing process here of Acronis, just calculating the time. Typically, the furnace will ask you to reboot, but we'll see. <clears throat> Still calculating. Look at that, it's got it's cloning. I've had this Acronis do it both ways. More often than not, it'll, it'll ask you to reboot and it'll do the clone outside of Windows. But if you run that check disk and that scan for errors and your system's pretty stable and in good shape, then you sh it looks like it's going to work this way. So I'm going to let that cloning process go, and once you're done, cloning onto your new SSD, go ahead and install your drive in whichever computer, whether it's a laptop or desktop, and it should, should boot up and be a whole lot faster for you. I'm not going to bore you with the whole copying process here, but I just wanted to make sure everything was going to start out okay so you can see what goes on. On this particular drive that I'm cloning, I'm using them probably to close to 230, 40 gigabytes of space. So there's a lot of stuff, a lot of data, a lot of apps. And time's going to vary depending on basically the speed of your computer, your processor, how much data you actually are, are cloning over. So it looks like it's zipping along pretty good. Some of those free programs um, that, that, that you download for free and do the cloning. I, I, I've seen them take many hours. Works, but if you're not in a hurry, then there you go. Just use one of those free programs. But again, for $39, you can upgrade from the free Acronis from Western Digital to this unrestricted version that you can use with any brand drive. Samsung's cloning software works pretty well. So I'm going to go ahead and let this cloning process go and I'll be back when we're just about ready to wrap it up. Alright guys, it looks like, look like we're going to have a good clone here. I'm just going to let it finalize itself here. The last thing it always does is the master boot record. There it goes. And we should be good after that. I'm just going to let it finish up here. Finishes up here. We're going to go check to make sure everything looks the way it's supposed to look, so we can have a 
good bootable SSD. Wait for it. Like I said, I'm going to have all the links below, down below, that you can get the different cloning software and the USB adapters that you're going to need. So there, the clone was, their disk was successfully cloned. We can close out the program. All right, so I'm going to go, go over to this PC or my computer. I'm going to double click it. And there's my current hard drive. Here's the clone drive here, identical. Looks perfect. Um, don't forget to subscribe. Just follow the steps I outlined here so you can have a good clone. Run the check disk or the, the scan for errors through the properties on your C drive, and you should have a good clone. I appreciate you all watching. Have a great day.